What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. I'm in a bit of a different location here. Kind of a very busy man today and uh, I almost forgot to make this video, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I had already done it, um, but my dumbass forgot to record this. But this is a Game 3 preview for the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Florida Panthers. Now if you're new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. So that way you know that this little makeshift setup isn't my usual setup for videos. Um, I have a much better background than this. Um, but please like, subscribe, watch the other videos. Make sure to check out the QAG link is down below. Need a new or used vehicle? Go talk to one of the QAG guys. Um, they'll make sure to take care of you. And uh, leave a question for the QAG Leafs inbox down below as well to potentially be featured in a video. But... I wanted to make this style of video because I did something like this in game one where it was just a straight up chat. We weren't looking at a bunch of stats. We weren't we weren't looking at a bunch of different things and graphics and all this other stuff. It was just a chat when we felt like, okay, the Leafs need to do something here. This is important. And uh, this game three is probably the most important game that they've had so far in the playoffs. This is a make or break game. Now, of course, the Leafs winning round one was huge. Uh, and that was great for the franchise and great for the fans. But the problem is is that after the Leafs won that series, it seems as though that their their state is that they won the Stanley Cup winning round one. That's not that's not how it goes. When you win the first round, that's great. The first time in nineteen years. Two thousand and four. But you didn't win the Stanley Cup because you got out of the first round. Great accomplishment. But the Florida Panthers took down the Boston Bruins and are now trying to take down the Toronto Maple Leafs. Two teams that are statistically in the regular season better than those Panthers. But the Panthers just know how to win. This team wants it. And I've been saying this for the longest time. And I put it on Twitter after the first couple games. The Toronto Maple Leafs are playing happy to be here hockey. We're just happy to be here. Don't be. You're, we're not happy. Like, you made it to the second round. Congratulations. But you took home ice advantage, crumpled it up, and threw it out. Two games. Florida is up 2 nothing in this series, and they're not looking back. They've had some really talented players do some great things. They've had some pretty uh, terrible actions. But they're winning hockey games. And we'll get and we'll get to that terrible stuff in a little bit. But the Maple Leafs are matching them when they should be surpassing them. The Leafs don't need to play Florida Panthers hockey. This matchup for the Leafs is far better suited for them than it was against the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Leafs have way more space against this team, but they're not using it. This is a worse team than Tampa, and I don't care if they just took down Boston. This Florida team is very good, and I'm not discounting them, but the Leafs should beat this team. Do I still think they're going to win the series? Absolutely. But they have to show me. Because, and again, not just me, but they got to show everybody. There's no other way to explain it. They're just not playing Leaf hockey the way that they should be playing. They're playing Florida's game. And part of that is that the Leafs need to not get so caught up in the refs. They need to not get caught up in the media, because the media is just as bad. It's whatever. Who cares? Play hockey. Win games. It's what they did against Tampa, and they're going to have to do that against Florida. Now, I want to talk about the Sam Bennett stuff. So, this is going to be a little bit controversial, because was the Matthew Nye situation not great? And if people don't know what I'm talking about, he basically took Matthew Nye, slammed him to the ice, and then, like pushed him down as they were going down and pushed his head into the ice, whatever. That play, I can understand if the league is kind of like, well, they were tangled up, whatever. Do I like the play? No. But Matthew Nyes is out for the rest of the series. Potentially. Do I agree with the fact that he got nothing? No. A two-minute roughing penalty? Maybe. Sure, I'll take it. Was it a great play? Could it be? Finable? Suspendable? Maybe. But I'm, I'm okay with the league saying, okay, next time you do that, then we're done. Well, then in the same game, he takes a cross-check to the head of Michael Bunting and then 
cross checks him in the back as he's on the ground. That could paralyze somebody. I hope people realize that. Like if you've, and again, people hate when people say this, but if you've never played hockey before, like I played my whole life, I was a goalie. I've seen many of those cross checks out front of the net. They're not pretty. And that padding doesn't go down all the way down your back. Players know where to hit these guys. And Bennett got him right where you don't want to be hit. Twice. Once in the face and once in the back. And that's not legal. Anywhere. <laughs> like, it's not allowed. And he got a $5,000 fine. A little slap on the wrist. The NHL, and, th and this, is, this is what makes it more funny. Not funny for Michael Bunting, but that's, that's part of it. One, it was Michael Bunting that got hit. So the referees were probably like, oh, serves you right, karma's a bitch, right? That's probably what they were thinking. Number two, the NHL has made it very clear that this year they wanted to crack down, that last year and this year, crack down on cross-checking. So last year when Austin Matthews cross-checked Darlene in the face, which was a bad play, he shouldn't have done that. And yes, it was suspendable. Regardless of if he was a repeat offender, that was a dirty play by Austin Matthews. And I can admit that. You can't do that. So he got suspended. But again, not a repeat offender. Bennett does the same thing. Once to the face, once to the back. Slap on the wrist for a repeat offender. He has two suspensions in the last two years. Two suspensions and now a fine. What are we doing here? Like this, like what are we doing here? It's a joke. I don't care what team this was. Obviously it's my leave, so I'm going to talk about it. But that's, that's Bush League. Now, Sam Bennett is, is a bust. He's a great hockey player now. Like, he's turned his game around. But, man, like, the guy was a bust for so long. And then he turned his game into this. And the league just lets him do this crap. I don't get it. I, I really don't. Does it affect the series? Not really. It just sucks. I mean, he took out Matthew Nye, so, yeah, it kind of does. He's been playing pretty well. But it's the league for you. Repeat offender. Two cross checks that they're cracking down on. Nothing. A little slap on the wrist. $5,000 fine. I don't get it. I really don't. But the Leafs got to win, regardless of whatever the hell that is. Sam Bennett's going to have to answer tonight. Um, hopefully, somebody takes a run at him clean. Uh, I don't want to see no dirty plays. Don't want this, somebody to injure him uh, intentionally. Ask him to fight. If he doesn't want to go, just hit him clean all night. Remind him. Don't do that. Hit him clean all night. Give him an extra whack after the whistle, whatever you got to do. Clean. Don't go cross-checking his head. Don't go slamming him to the ice. Don't, don't cross-check his back. Hit him clean. And if he fights, he fights. I'll respect him if he drops his gloves. But, again, um... I don't expect him to do that because he's two ply. He's charm and soft. So we'll see what happens. The Leafs need to win this game. 6 30. Uh, weird start, but I uh, just wanted to make this video for you guys. If you're new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. Love and appreciate you guys. As always, go Leafs, go. Prediction 4 2 Leafs tonight. Let's get it. Peace.